First of all, then, I mean, how how are you coping and dealing with this? Is it on? Is it off? Business over Christmas. Yeah, it's a little bit frustrating, but we just need to focus on ourselves and make sure that we're we're ready to play the games, and we're preparing right and and just focusing on ourselves really, and hopefully we keep getting the opportunity to keep playing. How are you able to do that then, not knowing or with this uncertainty? Yeah, you just have to focus and prepare as if everything was normal um, in training, building up to games, just just focus on ourselves and make sure we're doing the right things to give ourselves the best opportunities to win. Do you feel at the moment though, given the fact that you've played just a couple of games in December, that that might disadvantage you later on? Um, not really, I think as long as we're doing the right things and focusing on ourselves and staying in good condition and, and keep working hard, then I think, I think we should be fine. Um, we know there's going to be a build-up of games, having missed a few already, but but yeah, we just need to, to focus on ourselves and keep preparing right and we'll be fine. To a certain extent, you, you've dealt with something similar in between what would have been the QPR and up to the up to the Fulham game and, and intensity didn't drop for that, did it? So you perhaps have a degree of experience here to contend with. Yeah, definitely. And I think that comes from training, making sure the standards are high in training and, and we keep working hard and, and staying fit and that will lead into the games and I think we've got a good squad, great coaching staff and I think we're capable of doing that. Has has this enforced time away given you at least some form of Christmas then, if, if the football calendar hasn't been as was hoped? Um, yeah, so it's a busy period usually for football. Um, so obviously having a bit more time off to spend with families, but again, everyone wants to play games. So that's the main priority and it's frustrating not being able to play, um, but hopefully Hopefully, going ahead, we can all get back to normal. Do, do you as a group of players and, and you as an individual worry? Because anybody can get this at, at any time, can't they? And it starts off a train of events that leads to matches or training getting called off. Yeah, of course, but I don't think you can really think about it too much. I think, obviously, you have to, to be careful and, and follow procedures, but I think we just need to focus on, on the football inside of things. Football's going ahead at the moment, so games are there to be played and we need to keep training, so I think... Not, don't need to worry about it too much. Um, not pay too much attention to what's going on around with other teams and stuff, and just focus on us, really. And what, what in your mind has changed following Jukanovic's departure to Heckingbottom taking over? That's led to this run that you're currently on. Um, just the intensity. I think um, it's come from from in training, um, picking the intensity up, and, and has taken into games. Um, and yeah, obviously we had had Hecky for a bit last season. Um, he's coming as permanent gaffer now, and he's doing a great job. So yeah, it's a, it's a good environment at the moment, and everyone's enjoying it. Does that come from within the senior group of players as well? You know, Billy Sharp and, and Ollie Norwood would have spoken about the fact that they spoke out and things needed to change, and everybody needed to up their game. You know, day in day out, and that was the kind of the start of all of this. Yeah, I think everybody knew that, um, but yeah. From the senior boys right down to to the younger boys, I think we've all upped it, um, and we've looked a much stronger and and a much better team. So I think we need to keep doing that and keep taking games as they come, and keep getting better. Do you feel now, as the championship as it is, you've got a real chance of of mounting a push for at least a playoff place this year? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's still early stages. You know how quickly football can change, especially the championship. Um, first can beat bottom, so it doesn't. We don't look too far ahead. We just keep taking each game as they come and, and focusing on us and doing the right things and putting that into games. And I think we have a great chance of achieving what we want to achieve. You had quite a bit of time to reflect on all of this, sadly, because the games have been postponed. But how, how much did that win at Fulham and, and the way in which the game was controlled to the point where they got very little um, set, maybe send out a statement? It was kind of a statement, performance and victory. Yeah, definitely, and it shows how much we've we've improved over recent weeks. Um, defensively, we were solid, and we was dangerous on the, on the counter attack. Um, but yeah, it just shows that when you're focused and you're working hard, um, and everyone's on the right page, that you can achieve achieve good things. And that was a massive a massive result for us. It's just a little bit frustrating that there's been a delay since. Um, but yeah, I'm sure sure we we'll get back to normal um, as soon as we can. There's kind of this. Uh 
double-edged, two-sided argument, isn't there, about games being called off? If, if you were playing every couple of days and then a defeat came, people would say, well, the players are tired. If you don't play, it's about that loss of momentum. Where, where do you see it? I just see it as you're going to win games, you're going to lose games, and you just got to minimise the amount you lose, maximise the amount you win. So it's just about us doing what, what, what we can do, um, putting a run of games together like we're doing, and keep getting results. What about you right now? How, how are you assessing your own contribution? Yeah, I'm enjoying my football at the moment. Um, it's been a real positive for me. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really enjoying working under the new, the new coaching staff. Um, and it's good, personally, yes. It's very good at the moment. Do you feel as though that role within the team, because I'm sure Bulldog snapping at your heels kind of thing, is, is yours to lose right now? Yeah, of course, there's competition all over the team. Um, and I think it's good that, that we have that. We've got a very good squad. So I think it's important that you have that, especially to, to achieve what we want to achieve in, in this division. I think you need that and we've got it. So, so everyone will be fighting for their places and it only makes us better as a team. How have you, how have you assessed your kind of development across, well, the different seasons really? Because you, you came in, scored very early, scored a few goals last season, of course, and then obviously the relegation came and now playing regularly as the starting player in that role in that team. So how, have you, kind of, how would you sum up that, that journey? Yeah, it's a tough journey. Um, obviously, at the start, I didn't get much much game time when I first came to the club, but I understood that because it was a tough squad to break into. Um, but now the focus is just looking forward um, and keep improving and, and trying and try and hard each day in training to keep my place. If all goes well in the next you know, 24 hours, I suppose, the, the old gaffer's coming back. What kind of reception do you think you'll get? Um, I think we'll get a positive reception. We've done a lot for the club, but I think the main, the main focus is on us. Um, and I think we've got a, a big game to prepare for and a massive three points to fight for, so I think we need to focus on that. There, up and atom, three five two. Sounds remarkably familiar, doesn't it? Will that have a bearing on this on this contest, do you think? Um We know sort of what we're gonna expect from them. So we know how to prepare for that. But again I think it's down to us if we have the right attitude and the right mentality for the game then then we'll get the three points.